You see them wiggling those hips, man? Huh? Woo! I had the best seat in the house. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That was some show. Okay? They're going to come back and they're going to do another one, all right? They're going to do one more. So I have another quick joke for you. Okay? Uh, a priest and a nun. Uh-oh. Okay? It's St. Patrick's Day. What am I going to tell a rabbi joke? <laughs> <laughs> a priest and a nun are way on retreat. They're up in the Catskills in the mountains. I mean, no, it shouldn't be the Catskills, right? No, no. Too Jewish. Too Jewish. Okay, not the Catskills. They're up in the Adirondacks, okay? They're in the Adirondacks and they're on retreat. And after spending three days there with the members of their orders, they're ready to come back home when suddenly a terrible Canadian front comes through and dumps three feet of snow and they realize then that they're going to be stuck there at least for another night. And all the rooms at the local lodge have been taken up by travelers who've been forced off the thruway. So this priest and this nun have to share a room. <laughs> But luckily, luckily, the room they're sharing has two beds. Okay, pretty convenient. So the priest, sit, the priest goes into one of the beds, and the nun goes into the other bed. But it's such a cold night that at about 1 o'clock in the morning, the nun says to the priest, it's very, very cold in this room. The priest, being a gentleman, gets up. And he gets her a blanket and puts it on her and goes back to sleep. At 2 o'clock in the morning, she wakes him up again and says, I'm very, very cold. And he gets up and gets her a second blanket, throws it on her, and goes back to sleep. At 3 o'clock in the morning, she wakes him up again and says, I'm still cold. And he turns around to her and says, well, do you want to play, husband and wife? And she said, Sure, father. Just get the hell up and get your own blanket. <laughs>